What's green and slimy, living in your backyard, and just may be the future of alternative energy? Algae. This microscopic but powerful organism could be the next super biofuel, and the Science Center needs you to help them in their mission of finding the perfect specimen. You see, scientists at the Danforth Plant Science Center are working hard to make algae biofuel into a reality. And though they are working with a good lab-grown algae, there may be even better, more productive super algae out in the wild. And because scientists don't have the time to collect them all, they need the public's help. How to discover backyard biofuels. So, you'd like to be a citizen scientist? Well, to help make a valuable algae discovery, you'll need to first pick up a kit from the Life Science Lab in the St. Louis Science Center. You must get the kit from the Science Center to ensure you'll have all the tools you need to carry out this important project. Next, find a local natural water source, such as a stream, lake, or pond. Make sure it's in an area where it will be easy to obtain a sample. An area where the water is still and particularly green or scummy would be a great sample spot. The next sunny day after a rain is also ideal. Collect at least a 20 milliliter sample of the water and algae into the collector. This can be done with the included dropper by scooping up a clump of microscopic algae directly into the collector or by scraping the algae off a hard surface with a stick. Once the collector is filled to at least the 20 milliliter line, screw the cap back on onto the container very tightly so that your sample does not spill out. Before you go, you might enjoy taking some pictures of your adventure so you can always remember your scientific expedition. We would be glad to see them and to share them with the community. Send the pictures to photos at backyardbiofuels.org and be sure to include your name and sample number. Next, fill out the algae sample data sheet completely. This will help make sure you can receive information about your sample and also provide important information about where the best algae can be found. Return the collector back to the Life Science Lab at the St. Louis Science Center within no more than three days after you have collected your sample to ensure your algae stay happy and healthy. If you prefer to mail in your sample, you can do that too. Make sure to tightly screw on the cap of your sample, place it in a bag, wrap the bag in an absorptive material, and place in an envelope. On the outside of the envelope, write FRAGILE. Only mail overnight or second day delivery, and only mail on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Send to the Science Center, attention Life Science Lab. After about a month, the good scientists here will update you on your algae's progress by sending you a picture of your organism. You'll also be able to check the website to see the progress of your algae. So, to recap, first you must get a kit from the St. Louis Science Center, collect at least 20 milliliters of algae-filled water, fill out your algae data sheet, and bring your kit back to the Science Center no more than three days after collecting the sample. Well, that's all you need to know to embark on your exciting algae search. Who knows, maybe you will find the algae that will one day power all the cars and planes in the world. So get out there and start collecting today. If you'd like to know more about what happens to your algae after you bring it into the Science Center, please insert Reel 2, Testing Your Algae.